At some point, I guess you've done it so many times that it's just like a walk in the park. You're going to fight and you only have 15 minutes to show up. Nice! You gotta seize the moment or you're out. Look at this! He's got the neck and the Mikhail Dufault's second round submission! I'm going to stuff his take down and hurt him every time he's going to try it. I choke him out. I'll take the gilly. Gilly to the milli. I think people are interesting in fighting because you don't know who's going to win, but you know there's going to be a fight. An MMA can go to the ground, a better wrestler can beat a better striker, so it's a lot of what's the best art, martial art, and still we're, we don't know like what is the best. It's interesting. When you know you can go one-on-one -on -one against pretty much anyone, gives you confidence. I'm ready. Not only being like arrogant or thinking you're superior or, or anything like this, but just being confident in what you're saying, confident when you're walking outside, confident like when you're talking to people and, and people feel this, it, it changed your life. Just just being like yourself. Let's go. Okay. Boom. Honestly, the, the lifestyle is fun. It's pretty cool. You don't need to hate to have some hatred inside you to, to, to do the fighting. It's just fun to be around my buddies and train with them and then have fun with them. But it's a job and it's a nice one. C'est ça. Tu t'en côté, côté blind side. Uh, elbow inside, boom. Exactly. Exactly. Mick is a very young, talented, hungry fighter who works really, really hard. So look, look at my arm here. So when I cut him here, now I have the control. Yeah, it's pretty cool, that one. Mick is like a sponge. You know, I show him something once, and uh, immediately after inspiring, he's able to duplicate it and do it. You know, it's a, it's a real gift. Strong on the hook. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. My goal as a veteran and retired fighter is to encourage and try to push the new generation. Yes, exactly. Perhaps one day one guy will even be better than me. That's the goal, you know, the records are made to be broken. I teach them everything I know help them 100% and my goal is to make them better than I was. Olivier Aubin Mercier, he, uh, he won the PFL title and he became champion. Now it's Mikhail's turn, so it's like we're passing the torch, champion to champion. <laughs> That's how it feels like. I grew up playing hockey. All my brothers were playing hockey, so I played hockey, I played soccer in the summer, I played baseball. But at some point, I got really interested in, into MMA and I just started class in my hometown back in saint jean sur richelieu and I liked it. But at some point, MMA were, was taking more and more time into my life, so I stop playing hockey, I make the choice. And uh, honestly, the best choice of my life. After a good haircut, I Art. fight so good, but when I look like shit, like my punch are heavy, I'm so bad at MMA when I... You're not less confident right now. Right? Yeah. Next fight will be better, bro. I, I go pro at 18 years old. I start my career, my pro career is zero two. That hurt. And I think after being 0-2, my third pro fight, I, was, I had that mentality that if I want to do it for a living, 
I need to win the next one. I want it. I changed my mentality like it was all or nothing. Pretty much like PFL right now. Like it was all or nothing. So I was like, if I'm not winning it, it's over for me. And that's when I performed the best. I like that pressure, that pressure of winning or go home. Wow. Amazing work. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> lancer une balle à Louis. Vas-y! Ouais! I'm a really proud guy. I like to have my family proud. OK, on va aller prendre une pause. My latest fight, I came back home to my girlfriend and it's special when you come back home and you've win. Everything's fun, but when you come back home and you've lost, that that's hard. You need your family, you need the people with you to be supportive. Oh yeah, look, when I when I told you my father is my biggest fan, like, he has me singing thing, us playing hockey, uh, so many souvenirs. You're not the best version of yourself when you lose, so you really need them to, to, to be there for you. There you have my case agent fight. One of my brother, my father, they came to the to the fight and they, they stole it. <laughs> I think winning this will mean a lot to them. I will be proud of myself, but they will be proud of me and I really think they will be on top of the world. I really like it. Old port. It's beautiful. The city is like beautiful when you take time to visit it. I'm always thinking about that next fight. Since my last fight, I'm just thinking about the next one. I haven't stopped. That's something special about PFL. Like you don't call the shots. The shots are called for you. It's like pure fighting. You're doing this because. You have a job to do, he's on your way, that's it. The main aspect of these PFL fights, you know, back-to-back -back fights every seven weeks, you can't just like burn out your body, so you have to find uh, other ways to train. I never have regret at the end of my fight because I'm always giving 100%. I'm a showman, I throw punches. I'm a dog. When I go to fight, I go for a real fight. I give everything in the cage. Let's go! I want to finish fights. And to finish fights, you got to put yourself on the line. I'm going to throw every punch. I'm going to throw it for the knockout. Every time I'm going to move on the ground, it's for submission. Everything is to finish the fight because I'm a finisher and that's what I do best. I like to gamble, so when I go home, it's like, put your money on the red or on the black and that's it. The huts are 50-50. I like it. I like my huts. One minute. I'm going to throw bombs and either he goes in and, and he take a punch or he goes out and he take another punch. It's going to be a war. 